disconnect the battery, disconnect the negative terminal, use an eight millimeter wrench. And disconnect that, just slide it out of the way. I wanna release the airbag. I'm gonna use a small blunt object, like a pick, a, a pick with the tip cut off. Works pretty good. And just push in here. There's a little spring that you push on. That releases this side of the airbag. Do the same on the other side. You can pull the airbag up. You disconnect the wires on the back side. Right, there's two clips right there. Just squeeze those clips. Slide the connector out. Slide that off. Place the airbag aside and just make sure you put it face up. If you see, this is how the spring works with the pick. If you push the pick in there, you're just trying to move that spring. So you might have to feel around for it. And disconnect this wire right here. This is for the horn. You're just gonna grab this white tab, push down a little bit, and then twist it. And twist it to the left. And slide this out. Disconnect this connector right here. There's a little lock tab right there. Just use a pick or a screwdriver. And slide that connector off. We're gonna loosen this nut up. Use a 21 millimeter socket and a ratchet. If you can, hold it with your knees or have a partner hold it for you. While you loosen it. Now before I take the nut off completely so that I don't hit myself in the head with the steering wheel, just grab the steering wheel, rock it back and forth. And it should loosen up. If it's really, really tight, you can use a puller. There's uh, special pullers for these. And take the nut the rest of the way off. Slide the steering wheel out. Slide these wires through. And you wanna make sure this clock spring doesn't twist, which it seems like it has a lock on it, so it shouldn't, shouldn't move. On the back side of the steering wheel, take this cover off. Use a T20 socket. Take these two screws out. Slide that cover off. Take some needle nose pliers and just push on this retainer right here. Just squeeze it in. There we go. Just like that. Move the wires. To do this switch, flip the steering wheel over. You can use a straight blade screwdriver or I'm using a Torx driver. And just from the back side, just push down. The switch will slide right out. Disconnect the connector, push down on the little tab. Pull the switch out, take the new switch, line it up, lock it in place, and push it right back in. Now take the wiring harness, reposition it the way it was, and the connector, push that retainer back in position. That looks good. Take the cover, slide it over, and put the screws back in. And tighten the screws down. Snug them down. Take the steering wheel, slide the wires through this square opening. the steering wheel up. There is a little tab on the shaft of the steering column and a little arrow. You want to line that up and it should be slotted. You shouldn't be able to put it on any other way. It should only go on the other way. Take the, <clears throat> put the nut back on. Tighten this up. Now I'm going to torque this nut to 29 foot-pounds.
reconnect this connector, just line it up, lock it in place, and then the horn connector, slide that in position, and just push it down, it should lock in place. Take the airbag, line the connectors up, just like that. Just make sure the wires don't get caught on anything. Slide that in position, lock it down. Now let's reconnect the battery. And snug down the terminal. Give it a wiggle, make sure it's tight. You're good to go.